Hi guys, this is the standard 2.4G wireless controller. You will receive in the standard package two of the wireless controller. And some of guys, they receive the controller and you may not see the LED light is breaking. Then we're trying and show you how to fix it. So first of all, we will get ready the triple A battery. Triple A battery, two of battery for each controller. Then make sure you put the right position and turn on the switch of the controller. You see, this is the normal type and showing the green line on one of the controller, which means the controller have completely connect with the USB receiver and it's ready to operate again. Then the second controller, we're doing the same thing. Remove the cover and install the AAA battery to your fit and switch on. So now you see one of the controller is not on. The LED light is not even breaking. And our controller have decided with power saving function. And which means after maybe five minutes or 10 minutes, if you not do any operation with the controller, it will turn to power saving mode itself. It will off itself to save the power of your battery. So now how are we going to activate to make it alive? So first of all, we, you can press select or start button together. If it doesn't work, then you press move button. Then it will be activate and ready to operate to play the games again. In some of controller, you will not see the LED light it's blinking or it's on or even show stable LED light as same as the other controller here. So now how we're going to fix it. So first of all, we do the same thing to try to activate to see if it's work. So obviously it's not working. Okay, so the controller is not on. Then we switch it on and try again. So it's not working. Then we're going to remove the battery. And normally this side is a complete it's a complete piece of metal so it's not this side so we're checking this side it's not complete it's separate individually two different metal so we're going to try to use a uh, i would get a knife to try to press this metal piece down And now we're going to install the battery again. Oh yes, now the controller is working. So the, the main issue, the only issue is the connection of this piece of metal. So you will try to press it down to make a connection completely with the main of this controller. Then it will work. Then we'll try to switch it off and switch it on to taxi. it. So it's blinking and stable LED line, which means com connection complete. So now it's working.